What is going on, everybody? Zach Graham for FTN Daily here to preview game week 44 of the so rare NBA season. Real quick, if you're not quite familiar with so rare yet, uh, let me tell you a little bit about the platform. So rare is a sports fantasy game and marketplace featuring officially licensed digital player cards from the NBA, MLB, and global football. There's 300 plus clubs from the world's top football leagues with so rare you own and build teams buying selling collecting and trading officially licensed digital player cards and compete with them in fantasy games to win rewards week over week and season over season just like professional sports owners and general managers rewards from these contests include player cards and real life rewards such as tickets to games autographed jerseys nba league pass gift cards and more bringing the physical and digital world Together, so rare is the future of fantasy sports taking ownership to the next level. A true dynasty game in which players own their cards forever. And speaking of cards, let's talk through some of my favorite options here on the marketplace. Not necessarily price ri- price wise. Obviously, this marketplace is twenty four seven. It's free flowing. So sometimes you have to act fast to react to news, especially on uh, those days when the game weeks begin, Monday and Friday, on the NBA side of things. Let's dive into the marketplace here. Obviously, we have to collab our, our the marketplace prices with the games coming up this weekend. Game week 44 starts tonight, Friday the 24th of March, goes through Sunday night's NBA slate. So the first guy I want to look at here in the upper tier is Anthony Davis. Uh, and you look at the Lakers this weekend, two games, one against OKC, one against the Chicago Bulls. Still no LeBron James quite yet. So Anthony Davis with that 50 cap on his card right now is, is probably my favorite way to go in terms of a spend-up. Uh, if you look at some of the other spend-ups in this game week, let's say a Luka Doncic, you're paying close to $200 for his limited card currently on the market. Jason Tatum, $137. Joel Embiid, 189. Nikola Jokic, 177. So, you know, right now, low ass sitting about 70 bucks for an Anthony Davis limited card right now. It looks like good value to me if you are trying to get into these limited or higher rarity tier contests. Um, another option, a little bit more in the mid range of things here on So Rare this week, is my guy, DeJounte Murray, uh, sitting at just a 34 cap this week, low ask, below $18 right now. He sat out the Hawks' last two games earlier this week due to an illness, but the Hawks don't play till Saturday, and then they have a back-to-back on Sunday. So I imagine he gets out there, if not for both of these games, at least for that Sunday one. So matchup first against Indiana, would love for him to be available for that one. But then against Memphis, this Hawks team needs wins right now, and you're getting a little bit of cap relief from DeJounte Murray, who obviously doesn't have the same game-to-game upside now with the Hawks as opposed to his year last year, all-star caliber year down in San Antonio. Uh, But he still does have that fantasy ceiling, and you're not paying cap-wise for that ceiling with just 34 in terms of his cap hit this week. Let's go a little bit cheaper. And now this is more reacting to the news of the day. Let's take a look at the Blazers and Trendon Watford. Uh... Blazers news right now, still no Jeremy Grant. Watford has been starting in his place, playing significant minutes. Still no Anthony Simons. Now Yusuf Nurkic is also out tonight, and Damian Lillard is questionable. We heard the news a few weeks ago that the Blazers may shut Dame Lillard down as they continue to drop in the Western Conference standings, and they have been doing just that. The only two teams out West with a worse record than the Portland Trailblazers right now, the San Antonio Spurs, the Houston Rockets, not a good season for this Blazers team, but that doesn't mean we can't attack them in so rare this weekend. And that's what I'm going to be doing. Trenton Watford right now, you can get for right around $8. He does have that 23 cap, but no Jeremy Grant. And now he's starting alongside Drew Eubanks, who's going to take up much less, less usage than a guy like Yusuf Nurkic, Nurkic does there in the middle. I like Watford as an option for that 23 cap. Some other Blazers options that I'm looking at. And this one I think is my favorite on the week, although you're having to spend up for him compared to Watford and some of these other options. Shaden Sharp, the rookie phenom, at least in terms 
of his raw talent. And we've seen flashes of that throughout the year, including over the last week. Shaden Sharp only going to cost you 14 points in terms of cap space in these contests this week, right around $24, $25 as a low ask on the market right now. Two other names I'll mention with those Blazers absences. Kevin Knox sitting at under $4. He should pick up some extra time tonight. Uh, or maybe even through the weekend, because there are two games for Portland this week. They take on Chicago tonight and then OKC on Sunday. Uh, so if these guys remain out, all of these Blazers guys will be great plays throughout the weekend, but they are awesome plays, at least in this first game of the weekend. So Kevin Knox is an option. That's really if you just need that extreme savings in terms of your cap, which I think is fine with a guy like Kevin Knox, but I'm more likely to get to somebody like Nasir Little, who is just uh, right around eight dollars in terms of a low ask right now and a cap hit of 10 so i like all of those blazers as value options in your lineups to week and i'll give another special shout out to somebody that we've attacked heavily on the dfs side of things this week still no beal still no kyle kuzma for this wizards team so denny abdia at just a cap hit of 16 and a low ask of just above 18 dollars. i also like denny as a value buy on the market this week but let's go to the common build upcoming uh, contest here. We've got pickup, you know, the common contest where everybody gets a reward every game week. You get up into that top 200, you're going to be taking home a limited card. Uh, and then the secondary contest in the common tier this week, the common no salary cap contest. So play all your studs in that one. Top 25% go home with a common card reward. We'll jump into the pickup contest here and build a lineup. Just out of the cards that I own, you can always do your free swap once per day. That's something I definitely encourage new users to do to help build out their common card collection. I'm going to start with Anthony Davis. You know, we've got Joel Embiid. He's questionable tonight. He's up top. This is an MVP uh, contest, so the highest capped player in my lineup will not count towards my cap of 120 in this contest. But I'm going to skip all of these top guys and go ahead with my guy, Anthony Davis, that I was talking about earlier for those limited contests. I like the matchup here against OKC in Chicago this weekend. Again, still no LeBron James. Love the Anthony Davis play. I've also got a DeJounte Murray card here, so I'll put my money where my mouth is, so to speak, in the common contest this week with DeJounte. Um, then we're scrolling down here and we look at the news coming out of Charlotte. Obviously, LaMelo Ball still out for the year. And they do get Mark Williams back tonight. But Terry Rozier is listed as doubtful. Dennis Smith Jr. probable after leaving last night's game early with an illness. Kelly Oubre is questionable. So if Oubre sits out, there is a ton of usage for Dennis Smith Jr. to pick up here. And we know he's not shy about doing that when the opportunity presents itself. So give me Dennis Smith here, a 28 uh, cap hit in game week 44. So I think maybe... You could find some better mid-range plays in your collection, but as I was looking through kind of my 20 range here, DSJ is the one that stands out to me. And then I'm looking for some cap relief so I can go up and get another stud into this lineup. Uh, Kai Jones, not crazy, but again, Mark, uh, Mark Williams expected back tonight, so I don't think I'm going there. We've seen Dayron Sharp pick up some extra time over the last few games, especially in that oversized matchup against the Cavs, the back-to-back -back they had this week against that team. But DeAndre Ayton remains out, uh, at least for tonight's game. So give me Bismack Biombo uh, as a value here, just an eight, uh, uh, an eight cap hit to my 120 uh, games against the Kings. And then the Sixers back-to-back -back here on Friday and Saturday. So should get another start against the Kings tonight. And then potentially a matchup with Joel Embiid, which the Suns will certainly need his size in that matchup if DeAndre Ayton is not back. And then I've successfully opened up 50 more points on my cap. So I can go up here. I'm looking, I think SGA, a pretty solid option with matchups against the Lakers and the lowly Blazers. It's, uh, OKC certainly making their own play in and or playoff push here late in the season. Uh, and then Jason Tatum at one point lower in terms of cap, but even better matchups, Pacers and Spurs. Um, certainly some blowout risk there. So I think what I'm going to do for this lineup is I'm going to side with SGA in the more meaningful games, the games that should stay a little bit closer here. But I think both SGA, Jason Tatum, 
just fine options to round out this lineup. You could also make a case for Devin Booker with two games against the Kings and the Sixers, but I don't know if I really want to stack he and Biombo up in the same lineup. So give me SGA. Well, that booted the Bismack Biombo out of my lineup. So I'll slot him into this fifth spot at that eight cap and we'll submit that team. Anthony Davis in the MVP, DeJounte Murray, Dennis Smith Jr., Shea Gildas Alexander, and Bismack Biombo. That's the team I'm rolling with here in game week 44. And before we get out of here, just take a look at what we did last last week with our pickup contest. That team was Embiid in the MVP, Julius Randle, Jonas Valanciunas, Kai Jones, and Giannis. Those first uh, four guys that we talked about in the game week 43 preview back on Monday worked out pretty well, picked up a tier one common reward Um haven't opened it yet, so we'll see how that looks later. But hopefully, uh, game week 44, we're looking strong again. And uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me on Twitter at DFS or in the FTN Discord channels. Go ahead and tag me in there if you've got any questions or want a second eye on what you're doing before so, we, so rare game week 44. That'll do it for us. I'll be back on Monday previewing game week 45. Until then... Good luck this weekend in your contest, and thanks for tuning in.